What's up, pranksters? Happy April Fool's Day. Wow, I'm super excited about today because in this video, I get to show you guys 10 pranks that you guys can easily pull off at home on friends or family members. So if you guys are ready to learn some new pranks, give this video a thumbs up and check it out. Up next, we're gonna booby trap the fridge door. So we're gonna need a packet of ketchup like this. We're gonna gather all the ketchup onto one side like this, make it super fat like that. And then we're gonna twist one end just so that it's easier to pop. So twist it until you can't twist it no more. And this is pretty fat already. So we're gonna hold it in place with some tape. So just put the tape over the ketchup, make sure everything stays as you want it. And now you have a little fat packet of ketchup, which can easily be popped. And then you're gonna need another piece of tape, but this one is gonna be a bit longer. Stick one end to the packet of ketchup like this. And see, now it's hanging, right? The other end, you're gonna stick it to the top of the fridge. And I do apologize, guys, my fridge is very, very dirty. So if you have one of these old school refrigerators, just open up the freezer. Take your packet of ketchup and stick it to the top of the freezer door, like this. Then we're gonna close up the door, but make sure that the ketchup stays on top of the fridge, like this. It's so like that. So what happens next is, when the door is opened, let's say somebody wants to get some ice cream or some ice, they'll open it, and yeah, it'll pull the packet of ketchup and now it's gonna stay right there and your victim won't notice the packet of ketchup being there so when they shut the door, this is what's gonna happen. I don't know if the camera caught the sound but your victim will notice the popping sound and when they open the freezer door again, <laughs> they'll notice a little stain right here of ketchup and then the packet of ketchup, uh, it's all bloody. <laughs> so yeah, the packet of ketchup will pop when your victim shuts the door. Moving on to the next prank, you're gonna need a can. It can be soda, it can be tea, anything, as long as it's a can like this one. You're also gonna need some grease and a glossy piece of cardboard that I cut out from a box. First thing you're gonna do, guys, is you're gonna flip the can over like this. So now it's upside down. You're gonna take some grease and you're gonna apply it to the bottom of the can right along this area right here. So just keep doing it until you go all the way around now that that's greased up, we're gonna fill the bottom with whatever liquid you want. I'm gonna use this color. So just add it like that until it's filled up. All right. It's not a lot of water, guys, but it's just enough to make a little spill and have somebody clean it up. You're gonna take your piece of glossy cardboard and you're gonna put it over the can like this. The grease will actually make it stick better. So grease is very important because if you don't use it, this prank won't be able to work as good. So you take your can now, like this, and you flip it over, like that. And then you guys know this trick, right? You slide out the piece of cardboard. It might leak a little, but that's okay. Well, in this case it didn't. <laughs> and that's it guys, there's your prank. Leave the can anywhere, and when your victim wants to drink it, he or she will pick it up, and this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> See, a little spill. Now you guys don't think that's a lot, but it's a significant amount that they have to clean up. Look at this. Yeah, it's plenty of it. So it's not a really, really mean, messy prank, but nonetheless, it's still a prank. So they have to clean this up and they wouldn't have expected it coming from a can. This is a simple mouse trap. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna activate it, simple as this. So you take this mouse trap and you put it inside a cabinet, make sure it's leaning against the door. So for me, this prank is easy to set up because they have two cabinet doors. I'm gonna open one, so I have access to the other one through this side. So I'm gonna lean this mouse trap onto this door so when it gets open, the mouse trap will fall. <laughs> so it goes off when somebody opens up that cabinet, they're so sensitive, the slightest thing will make them go off. It makes a loud enough noise that it'll startle just about anybody. 
This next prank, we're gonna be messing with your roommate's protein shake. So they have their little tub right here. Usually when they open it, they'll have their scoop ready. So all they gotta do is put it into their cup, put in all their ingredients and blend it and they're good to go. Well, we're gonna mess with your roommate's protein shake. So I'm gonna take out the scoop and I'm gonna tape it onto the cap like this. Actually, I'm gonna try to center it like this. Just like that, guys. And now you're gonna twist it back on to the tub and the prank is set. So basically, guys, when your victim wants to make a shake, he'll come over, unscrew it like this, and then place it on the table. He won't notice that the scoop is underneath the cap, so he will try and look for it. He'll probably stick his whole hand in there because the scoop is very essential as far as getting the right amount of protein into your shake. They can stick their hand all the way down and they still won't find that scoop. So when they give up, they're gonna pick this up and that's when they'll notice that the scoop is right there. So it'll make them feel dumb in a way. This is a pretty annoying prank, isn't it? This next prank will frustrate just about anybody in your household. Well, first you're gonna go and open up a drawer. Any drawer in your house, you're gonna take a pencil and with some tape, you're gonna tape the pencil on the side of the drawer or you can tape it on the bottom, which is less visible, but I'm gonna do it on the side so you guys can see. And clear tape is the best for this because it's less noticeable. So this is all you guys gotta do. Just tape the pencil to the side or to the bottom, like I said, and there's a pencil right there. Now, leave it open, and next time somebody passes by here and sees this drawer opened, obviously their first reaction will be to close it. And when they try to close it, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> look at that. So pretty much you're jamming the drawer so it doesn't close, and your victim will look and look. Like I said, if the pencil's taped to the bottom, they won't be able to see what the problem is. But as you guys can tell, the pencil is kinda noticeable here. But I did that for a reason, so you guys could see the jam. But if it's underneath, they won't notice and they'll try to figure out what's wrong with this drawer. Why won't it close? And it's just frustrating, but it's one of the simplest pranks you guys can do at home. Now we're gonna mess with the light switch. It has to be one of these switches right here. These are pretty flat. So in order to pull off this prank, you're gonna need to have this kind of switch. This switch turns the lights on and off. Obviously you can't see it because I got my camera lights on, but if the room is dark, then this prank is perfect. So on April Fool's Day, guys, you take a piece of clear tape, make sure that the room has the light turned off like this. So this is off, this is on. Well, we're gonna take this piece of tape and we're gonna tape it on the bottom because the lights are off right now. So we want, we wanna be able to make it difficult on your victim to turn on the light switch. So your victim will walk into this dark room, they try to turn on the lights, and it's stuck. <laughs> Look at that, it won't turn on. Yeah, these little pranks are perfect for April Fool's Day. The best pranks happen in the restroom, so I'm gonna show you guys how to set up this little prank that will make somebody mad or upset. So as you guys can see, I have some toilet paper right here, which is on top of a roller. Well, we're gonna take off that roller, just to show you guys the example. This roller, is retractable, it has a spring in there, so you can push it and it'll push back up. So we're just gonna keep it as it was, put the roller inside the toilet paper, and then you're gonna put the roller inside one of the designated holes, just one though. The other one, you're just gonna leave right on the edge. Make sure it doesn't go in to the other hole, and then you're gonna move over the toilet paper, like this, so your victim doesn't know that this side is loose, and then when they try to get a piece of toilet paper, this is what's gonna happen. You guys can pour water on the floor so that when the toilet paper falls, it'll get wet. This is one of the simplest pranks that you guys could ever pull off in the restroom. For the following two pranks, guys, we're gonna be messing with the ceiling fan. The first prank will be to annoy your victim, and then the other prank will just startle them. So for the first one, you're gonna need a zip tie. We're gonna take our zip tie and we're gonna wrap it around the arm of one of the blades. Simple as that, guys. Since the zip tie I'm using is a bit too long, I'm gonna trim it like this. Do you guys notice that? When the fan is going, it's gonna be making noises and it's gonna annoy whoever turns it on. So now that the zip tie is in place, we're gonna turn on the fan and see what happens. <laughs> you guys notice that annoying sound that it's making? 
your victim is gonna think that there's something wrong with their fan because it's making this noise. Now the way this fan is turned is that it's got two chains attached to it. One is for the light and then the other one is for the fan. So we're gonna be messing with whichever your victim uses the most. It's probably gonna be the fan and if you notice the chains, these are little ball chains and this one in particular has a little connector right there. So we're gonna undo this because it's pretty much an extension. We're gonna remove it and now we're left with this. Here's the party popper that I'm gonna be using. It's easy to remove the little popper inside, so basically what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna open it up from the bottom, take out all the confetti, everything that you don't really need. You just want access to the inside, which is where the popper is, and then you're just gonna take it out. The easiest way to take it out is, is you pinch it with some scissors and pull it out just like this. And now you have yourself a little popper which we're gonna put to use right now on this one we're gonna tie the popper and then hook it up to this little connector right here so that when it's pulled it's gonna make a loud popping sound I just tied on the popper to this chain right here and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hook it up to the connector like this this is a very simple setup so now it's hooked up and if you guys notice that once this is pulled it'll set off that popper so you might want to trim off any excess string that might be there because it'll give away this prank before it's even executed so this is what's going to happen when that chain is pulled <laughs> uh, so if you set up both pranks at the same time guys they'll fall for that prank and maybe they'll think that that loud popping sound is what's making that noise over there which is the zip tie that's still attached to one of the arms of the blade Oh man, it's so annoying. These are two back-to-back -back pranks you guys can pull off on somebody on April Fool's Day. Now let's mess with somebody's computer. But in order for this prank to work, their desk has to be glass. It can't be really thick wood because it won't work. And the reason it won't work is because for this prank, we're gonna be using magnets. And these are very strong magnets, as you guys can see. So we're gonna be using a little stack like this. But we're only gonna need one. The thinner the better, guys. Well, we're gonna take their mouse, their computer mouse, this one right here. This one in particular has batteries. So it's a wireless mouse with batteries. You can place a magnet on the batteries like that. And if it's thin enough, you can actually place it on the mouse pad and it'll still move like normal. Just don't put the cover back on. Guess what we're gonna do with the other magnets? These, we're gonna put underneath the mouse pad and we're gonna be using tape to hold them in place. So at this point, the magnets are pulling towards each other. So when your victim tries to use their mouse, it's just gonna be hard for them to maneuver it because of the magnets. You know, they'll flip it over and then they'll see the magnet there. That's why. <laughs> but for a few seconds, they won't know what's going on. And those were 10 pranks you guys can easily pull off on friends and family on April Fool's Day. Hopefully you guys get to try some of these out. They're very easy to set up. They're not complicated at all. It doesn't take much work to execute. So if you enjoyed watching any of the pranks that I just showed you, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And for those of you that are not aware, I'm having another giveaway. And this one is for an Xbox One S. To enter, all you guys gotta do is go to my Instagram page and follow me on there. That's it. I'm gonna pick a follower randomly soon so it could be you I don't care where you live if you happen to win you will get a brand new Xbox sent to you and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notifications because I will be announcing the winner here on YouTube thank you guys for watching and again happy April Fool's Day I will see you guys in my next video and in this video I'm gonna show you guys five pranks that you guys can set up in the classroom for April Fool's you're gonna take out all their crayons and twist it till the glue stick comes out completely like this. So now the inside is hollowed out and we're gonna fill it up with some water. I'm not gonna use just any water, I'm gonna use some Kool-Aid completely all the way to the very top. Then we're gonna put the tube in between the binder rings like this and then we're gonna close them. You're gonna position the egg like this. I'm just gonna attach it on there. You're gonna open it up again as it was, just like that. And the prank is set. 